everybody uh, and welcome back to another episode of Dinosaur Island episode 12. Let's get started. Meanwhile, you can see uh, um, T-Rexes. Since uh, episode 10, um, the T- um, the T-Rex's lives have changed since the blue T-Rex has died from that crazy incident of the Spinosaurus. And the red T-Rex still has it in the, in the back of his head, crying in tears. And there are still two um, T-Rexes sleeping. And it looks like they have caught a Dimetrodon since we've never seen a Dimetrodon for a long time. But then he saw something very mysterious because he never seen this dinosaur before on this side of the island. We can see a, a mysterious creature. It is Tawa, one of the weird dinosaur name and I ever heard. So this Tawa here looks like it's called a baby styracosaurus for some reason. But he doesn't even notice that he is beside the T-Rex. So the big male, the leader of the pack, checks it out. The tower doesn't even notice. He's just focusing on eating his food. The T-Rex doesn't like him staying beside. He wants him to get out of his territory. So he roars at the tower. <coughs> Tower runs away, but he just goes back. Oh, the T Rexes. The T Rexes even know, but then. <coughs> a Tower uh, jumps at the T Rex. The T Rex is in pain because the Tower is biting his neck, but then the T Rex is that strong to get up. <coughs> <coughs> Tawa doesn't even care about staying in the T-Rex's territory, so she attacks again. Uh. Tawa is um, on the T-Rex's head, and the T-Rex tries to shake him off, and he succeeded. But then Tawa still doesn't care, and he tries to, and he bites one of his legs. Uh. The T-Rex stomps at, roars at the, um, uh, Tawa. But then he tries to jump at the head, but then suddenly, the Tawa fell into a mouth trap. The Tawa is screaming in pain. T Rex grabs him really hard, trying to crush the bones in his neck. And then. It has killed the tower. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, we can see our fellow friendly neighborhood, well not neighborhood, but friendly razor. <laughs> So Razor here, the Herasaurus, just in case if you missed um, episode 11. He, uh, 
Let's go to the tri baby mm -hmm. triceratops. Mm -hmm. And you moved into another side of this island. That's why there are only a few dinosaurs. This is kind of a problem for carnivores since there's already herbivores running out. Example like the Styracosaurus. And the baby triceratops. And also, um, also an Alice, um, a Brachiosaurus. Those are the only herbivores that they have in this uh, that in this side of the island. But there are tons of carnivores. This is a good example, like the Velociraptors. They're sleeping right now. And the Alpha Storm, which is the gray one. And if you remember, um, the last episode, episode um, 11, episode, yeah, 11, this Velociraptor here, um, it's actually the small, gr the small green one, like in the last episode of the Azerat, and he has grown into adult Velociraptor mode. Also a good example, the Dinosuchus is planning to leave this side of the island and go to another lake. Same for Allosaurus. He has not much food left. And the Spinosaurus. Obviously the T-Rexes also. So that's why there are only a few herbivores here. So carnivores that keep on killing and killing your herbivores. So Razor needs to transfer a new place. A transfer a new side of the island, but that might be another episode. So Razor wants to kill one of the Velociraptors. But this place is Velociraptor chaos. Because the most kills from herbivores are the Velociraptors. So Razor doesn't even mind. He doesn't even mind to attack. He just wants to just look. He just walks away. Storm um, plans to get food. And also the Alpha also wants to plan to get food. Some of the Velociraptors need rest to get energy, just in case. And the adult one, this is his first, oh by the way, this, this Velociraptor, the green one, is his first time to hunt. So, our, our dinosaur our, that's fo that we're focusing on in this episode are the Velociraptors. And they see Allosaurus. Trying to go to their territory to, to terrorize them. But the Velociraptors are more equal. So, but the green one is too excited because it is his first time. So he just strikes immediately. <laughs> Storm and the Alpha Raptor are so surprised that their son has, has um, learned a few tricks from them. But then the Allosaurus shakes him off. So, the Allosaurus and the Velociraptors attack. <laughs> the Alpha makes the Allosaurus fall, fall down and Storm and the Alpha and the green one killed that will kill the Allosaurus. <laughs> And they succeed. Meanwhile, we can see um, the whole dinosaur island. But there are dinosaurs in the sky as well. <coughs> T 
pterodactyls moving over the whole island. It has snagged a fish and just lands to feed it. The pterodactyl tries to eat it and holds up his wings. But then, <coughs> the Velociraptors have killed the pterodactyl. Since the pterodactyl was focusing on its fish and no time to fly, they had killed it Success successfully. What's wrong with my English? Meanwhile, we can see Brachiosaurus and uh, Spinosaurus. So, the Velociraptors are back again after finishing the pterodactyl and getting their fish. They plan to kill the Brachiosaurus. But then, for some reason, the green one might have a short life. So, the green one strikes. The storm and then the alpha bites it. But then, suddenly, he shake the brachiosaurus shakes them up, and the and the green velociraptor attacks. But then, <laughs> looks like the velociraptor, the green velociraptor, has a short life. The alpha and and the and storm are crying in tears and felt pain in their hearts but they'll get revenge the alpha tries to put pressure on him tries to make himself heavy and also the gray one attacks on the end of his tail brachiosaurus cannot shake him off they're holding pretty good and then he tries to shake him off one last time. It did not work. And then, um, Storm pushes him down. And the Velociraptor scratches his veins and his throat. And the Velociraptors have won the fight. But they're still sad that their that their best baby Velociraptor had just short life, for the most part. But then the Spinosaurus saw it and planned to strike. <laughs> this Spinosaurus is just too young, not a baby, and not adult, but just young, and just still learns how to fight. But then the Velociraptor is this powerful than it. So he jumps at him and then puts pressure on his neck and then cracks it. And Spinosaurus wants to, um, he bites, um, storms, uh, uh, neck and throws him around. And then, and then he throws him around and then bumps him. Dead. The Alpha is the only Velociraptor left, even though there are still Velociraptors. But he's the only one that's left in the fight. So the Spinosaurus tries to attack, but then the Alpha climbs on him and then puts him down. And then, but then the Spinosaurus has a trick of his sleeve. He, he throws him down and then. He's dead. And the 
the Spinosaurus has, um, he has the food of the Brachiosaurus. So thanks for watching Dinosaur Island episode 12. I hope you enjoy. Please leave a like and subscribe and hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs>